Hi everybody, hello, hello, hello. So we are coming on here because tomorrow there is a big release of these tin foils, as well as the new shells that unfortunately we don't have yet, um, but we will be getting them. <gasps> Magpie Beauty Canada, hi! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome so, to the party. So, my name is Sarah, and this is Rachel, hi. and we are going to be demoing how to use these beautiful foils, and we'll go through them, we'll let you see them, we'll take them out. Let's play a while, shall we? So, mm -hmm. all of these are available in the United States or Mexico at magpiebeautyusa.com, and here we go. We have a couple of swatches and we're going to talk about full foiled and get foiled and just all the things. So let's just go through the foils. This one is called Austin. It's really cute. It is not a semi sheer. It does have opaque, but isn't that adorable? That is I fun. think it's, it's so fun. So fun. Mm -hmm. Actually, I could see that paired with cotton candy. Ooh, that'd be really cute. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. Cute, cute, mm -hmm. cute. Then we have Ringo. Ringo is a sheer background. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to use this one in one of our demos today. Just, just a beautiful, like, so floral, pretty. dainty, mm -hmm. um, pink-colored, peach-colored roses. And... And some forget-me-nots. Some you know. Uh-huh. So those are, like, the only flowers I know. Don't forget them. <laughs> um, we've got basil. 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 I'm going with basil. Basil is, feels so much more... British. Basil-y. <laughs> Not basil. Yeah. That's basil American. feels much better. And basil is an opaque background. Just super cute. Um, our good buddy, Kayla, here at the salon, she actually said to pair this with avocado. So there you go. For those of us who can't seem to think outside of like pairing this with colors that go directly with it, mm -hmm. uh, that could be a fun pairing. Mm -hmm. And then we go with Orlando. I really love this one, actually. It's very, very pretty. I'm all about deep, moody colors deep in the spring. Deep and moody. <laughs> but deep I and moody. It. There's, like, so much dimension. There's, like, all these pretty, like, layers of all the different leaves, and it's mm -hmm. so pretty. That's cute. Yeah, there really is a lot of dimension. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's cute. Gorgeous. So, I've got kind of that one. That would take you, like, an hour to draw. Yeah, so true. So much easier. And then we've got Rupert. Rupert's a good one. Just like a good summery, springy, colorful. It's gorgeous. Floral. So many color options that you could pair this with. Mm hmm And when we Literally. say pair this with, we're going to talk about full foil. So these are full foil transfers, or you could, you know, make like half of the nail, but it would be still be a full foil transfer in whatever area that you wanted. And you could pair this with a periwinkle, Sandy Lane. Uh, yeah. You could pair this with a Honolulu. You could pair this with... A Marla Mouse, that would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Some neutral, some or neutrals. even like that deep, like some jazzy Some Lily would be so cute. Yeah, so many different options with that. Mm -hmm. And all of these that we're naming are Magpie Gel Colors. Some of our faves. Yes. Love all of those. And then we have Sunny, Sunny with an O. Not to be confused with Sunny with a U, because that is a beautiful glitter, which let's show that. Sunny with a U, paired with Sunny with a Y. <gasps> Bam! With a llama. That's actually a really good combo. Look at Shoot. that. I mean, Man. come on. Come on, fall. This is still so beautiful, even in the summer. I mean, yeah. come on. She's gorgeous. Beautiful in every way. Yeah, that's a good pairing. So, Look Sunny with a Y. Thank sunny you. With an o. I mean, Sunny they with an O. They both have a Y. Right, right, right. <laughs> sunny with a U, Sunny with an O. But it's so, so pretty. Mm hmm And that's like a really fun color palette. This could be used it's in the like spring that. or the summer. Yeah. I'm that. sorry to interrupt you. No, you're good. I was just going to say, it's a fun color palette. Like, And it's easy to work with, but like, you know, deep blues and yellows and cream. A peach. Mm hmm Some peaches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super cute. I feel like all of these are like pretty universal, could be used in any season. Mm-hmm. Quincy. This is Quincy, and it has a sheer background, and I think this one is so fun. I do, too. I think it's going to be really cute over that color. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. Look at the pinstripes. <laughs> it's so, so cute. It feels kind of nautical, and I love it. Yeah, it does. I want a pair of pants this pattern. I want just this one little section on my nail. That is adorable. 
You want pants that have pinstripes? Yeah, or like a dress that style. Oh, like that's that cute. cute. That's really cute. You know, then we have wear dresses. Wally. Yes, that's a cute one. That's so pretty. Wally. I love like the big, big flowers in that. Yeah. Yeah, this one is is what you would consider a traditional like floral type flowers. These big flowers with little baby's breath type flowers. That's not what they're called. Are those forget me nots? They look like morning glory. And what are or these? Or periwinkle. Like the purple ones, like right there. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but so cute. I know like four flowers. That's all I can offer you. <laughs> um, like a Mother's Day. This is what I see. Oh yeah. Ah, that's Very so much. pretty. So pretty. These two, I think, are my favorites. Then we come to Doug. Doug. It's my, Doug. It's my uncle's Isn't dog. Isn't that the name. dog on uh, Up? Mm hmm Is Doug? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, That's this, ridiculous. This screams, like, my grandma that was just here. Like, this is that so her style. blush colored anything is oh, always a hit. So, so, so pretty. It looks like wallpaper. Yeah. Okay. Go back in. Okay. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> All right, and then our last one. So again, all of these are available starting at midnight tonight on magpiebeautyusa.com. Mm -hmm. So the last one of this is Greg. 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 And all, did you know all of the nail art supplies are open to the public? Mm -hmm. Only the gel polishes and the poly gel and the acrylic, or that's uh, not the acrylic, but the um, acrylic, all of those professional products are for professionals only, mm -hmm. but anybody can get the foils and things like that, the glitters. Yeah. So. That's that is so, so dainty and pretty. I love all the colors in that. Beautiful. Okay. okay. Give me Okay. It. Greg, don't give me a hard time, Greg. Okay, so we have some swatches already made up. We we're have just going to do a couple. Lilo Lil. Going crazy. And Lilo Lil, we're going to do a... Like kind of a half Not and a half. three quarter, but like a half and half. <laughs> and then we have... Good old Pina Colada. Pina Colada. Because I see Such this... Such a cute color. Um, I... Yeah, you're going to see what I am going to do with this. It's going to be so cute. Adorable. And then we have a neutral, Oh Sandy. Mm -hmm. Such a good neutral. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our good friend, Honolulu. Love it. Because Honolulu, we Pico, love. Um, Pina Colada, and Lilo Lil are from the new Life's a Beach collection, which, I mean, it's if you amazing. haven't gotten it yet, we got more and we'll be making up um, the full collections, put those back on the website. But we do have them available individually. It is a winner. Every single yes. color. Such a winner. So um, Morgan, yes, you do need Doug. It's beautiful. Doug. It's so good. Um, I did. I'm going to just show you this one real quick just because it's cute. Um, it is We cute. did do Ringo. just a little sample of Ringo, just the one that's clear over black. And, like, how pretty is that? So dainty. Like, just so pretty. There's just fast, fast nail art. Yeah. It's yeah. so simple, so quick and easy, and we love this. Um, all of these, the super, super shiny, um, is um, full foiled. Yes. This is the key to all of these full foil transfers. So let's talk about full foiled and get foiled real fast. Get foiled is meant for abstract foil mm -hmm. looks. So think about all the metallics that, that we have in our foil range. There's Edie Rose and Etta Rose and Amelia Rose and Lola Sky and Sylvie Joy and mm -hmm. all of them. Dottie if May you, and Dottie Demi May and Demi Lee. And all of those. The list goes on. So Get Foiled is meant for abstract placement of foil. It is a two minute cure. Then you have Full Foiled. Full Foiled is meant for full foil transfer. It is very, very sticky. If you have a foil that has that firmer texture, Whereas um, these florals have a really flimsy texture, so they're gonna transfer very easily. Mm -hmm. But things like Jasper or Fergus, where it's that firmer feel, mm -hmm. you're gonna wanna cure this for up to two minutes to get it so sticky, mm -hmm. and it's gonna foil, or it's gonna transfer it like a boss. So full foiled is a 60 to 120 seconds, and get foiled is 120 seconds, okay? Yeah. So hopefully that clears it up for everybody. Again, abstract. Full foil transfer. What you don't want to do is use full foil and not do a full foil transfer because all of that uber sticky, it kind of peels apart from the top coat. So only use full foil where you want full foil to be. For instance, halfway up the nail rather than all on the nail and then we only put it on half the nail because it will pull apart from the top coat. Okay? Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Um, right. Which ones did you want to use? Because um, I was going to do these two. Yeah. 
these two? Yeah. Okay. And That's then you adorable. Do your... All right. And then I'll do, I'll do Doug. 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 And I will do. Hmm. You like basil? That would be cute. Basil over that. Would be fun over that. Some basil Maybe? and some Doug. But fun. is Doug gonna go with purple? <laughs> I mean, really, I'm going to. We're just going to show you how thing, to yeah. transfer all of it, so it's gonna cover it. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Done. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna do Wally with the kind of halfway design. No, I'm gonna switch to Ringo. Yeah, it's probably, I like Ringo. It's probably better. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna cut off a little piece because you don't need a lot. Yeah, we don't like to actually work from the entire roll of foil because um, you'll end up wasting a lot. Mm -hmm, so we mm -hmm. like to just trim off exactly what it is that we're gonna use on so the I'm nail plate. Just taking about this much and I'm only gonna use a little bit of this because this nail is not that big. Um, but I really like this section of the foil where it has all of these different textures and all of those different flowers. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna focus on that. I'm gonna try and get it mm, kind of where I want it. So it's only sticky on the bottom half of this swatch. So I'm gonna gently push it down. And then just kind of go in with my finger. You can go in with a silicone tool. You can go in with um, like lint free wipes. Gauze, yeah, or a piece of gauze. I like to use my finger just because I feel like I can get a little bit more precise. Um, and I'm not doing a huge area. Um, but this way, and the more you rub, you can see where it's coming up. You can see that there, it's like it's gone all the way. Like there's nothing left on the. That's so satisfying. Plastic. When it Bam. does that. <gasps> oh, that's and so go. cute. And then you have a cute little floral. And then I grabbed these because I wanted to just do a little design on this one. The other ones are going to be simple, but this one I just wanted to add a little some some. So I have these these magpie stickers because you know me and my gold I gotta have a little bit so, so cute tweezers uh, if not no. I will use my fingers no I don't I don't mind I'll use my fingers okie dokie because this one's already sort of coming up because I used this one cool and I'm just gonna take just a little bit um tweezers are way easier to use with this but I don't know where they are so we're just gonna go a little bit there Kind of separate it a little bit, add some contrast. Well, that's adorable. And it's just cute. And if you're doing this on a real person, you don't want your your tape to overlap. You want it to just be just shy of the edge, um, or else you will have peeling, lifting issues with that. So I'm gonna try and. So you're gonna, gonna use cut. smaller scissors, which ours are actually currently in the um, cleanser. So. You're going to try to cut on an angle so that you're cutting upward so that you have one millimeter where you can cap on the side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, because this is not ideal, but it's not these just, big old scissors, clearly. Yeah. Not on a human. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Unless you get it like exact, but but that is like almost perfect. You can see it's like barely, barely, barely shy. Like it stops right there. So you have about that much room. To top coat for the top to. coat to yeah. go over and then just float it over and these are super nice these stickers are awesome because they are very very low profile you can't even tell it's there it doesn't jut out of the it doesn't jut off the nail or anything like that so I'm super, just gonna talk about this super cute. go ahead go ahead friend all right here we go so I'm going to do over oh sandy I'm going to just show this um color so really Oh, Sandy's just to look at how beautiful it is. Isn't it beautiful? Because mm -hmm. we're about to cover it with an opaque foil. But here we go. So I would suggest sticking it down the middle so that it stays. And then I'm going to show you using a cotton swab or a piece of gauze. And I'm going to just start applying pressure and rub one side to the other, but pushing.